Surya Saha and welcome to the Insurex Story podcast the platform to spread knowledge on insurance innovation digital disruptions and entrepreneurship our website insurexstory.com and we are available on Spotify Apple and Google also from last week we have also joined the group of podcasting on Amazon Music and Audible today we will discuss on the topic the future of insurance with open ai opportunities and challenges and for now i'm delighted to welcome our guest abhinit sarkar who is the digital innovation leader at tata aia life insurance abhinit is a biofintech and digital innovation leader with more than a decade experience in working across banking financial services and insurance industry and tech consulting to add to that currently he is heading digital innovation at tata aia life insurance he is also an active mentor of cii center of excellence for innovation entrepreneurships and startups and he is the co-author of the ai book he was also featured in fintech times uk in 2019 abhinit a warm welcome to the show thank you thank you surya uh, it's pleasure to be on this uh, uh, you know to chat with you and it's my pleasure thank you for inviting me thanks abhinit so before we you know uh, start on um, the three points of uh, today's discussion i would like to you know inform all our listeners that um, the views shared today are purely of the speakers and not of any organization uh, he associates with so with that we'll move on to the first discussion points for the day So Abhinit can you tell us about OpenAI's role in the insurance industry you know recently OpenAI and ChatGPT and even many other uh, alternative tools like the Bard it's actually have taken a lot of space in the recent news right so what do you think how it relates to the insurance world and tell us about the role of OpenAI in this insurance industry yeah yeah sure yeah so i think uh, today uh, any kind of large language models which are being utilized uh, and if i talk specifically about open ai which has socialized the entire generative ai into picture today right so generative ai has been there since ages with us and the only way that how it has been socialized so that people are accepting it using it so not just professional uh, for professional services they are looking up for any personal uh, issues as well so they have got a conversational way of interacting with a bot which has been there it has been a frustrating journey for many of us but chat gpt a platform like chat gpt has opened a varied platform so i, I would say it is more like you know enabling or leveraging a model like a generative ai model and large language models so that the conversation between a human and a non human agent can be made uh, a bit more uh, you know empathetic and a bit more logical a bit more contextual so i think that has been pretty much socialized with a uh, platforms like uh, chat gpt and of course bard you mentioned right so i would say that uh, you know this the, the opportunity is pretty huge and uh, recently i was also uh, listening or reading something from uh, bill gates which he said that the two things which he found are largely going to impact the world the first was when we uh, when he saw the graphical user interface uh, in our desktops and computers that was the first revolutionary thing now today it has made everything so easy for us and the second wave of disruption is going to be the this generative ai and models which has been launched uh, like chat gpt and other platforms which are going to revolutionize the entire conversational journey for anyone so it's like you know giving a very simpler way of interacting with someone for any topic at any time so i think that has always been a requirement for any bot services which has been launched in in the world but i think this kind of platform has given it increased it to multifold times so yeah the, the opportunity is pretty huge here. so do do you have any any views on the india specific opportunity and challenges anything you see for the india market how the insurers are reacting to this so i would say uh, indian market has the 
largest set of data pool today with us right one of the largest set of data pool and to create or have a right set of ai model uh, to work properly i think the biggest important thing is that we need a very curated set of data a very clean data and a large set of data right so i think today as an uh, insurer or or any banking or financial services companies are working largely to imbibe this kind of uh, platforms so what i see today as an opportunity is definitely on majorly on two three things one is how you can be a sales advisor to someone right uh, for example we have a lot of products being sold out in insurance we have a lot of products in banking like loans credit cards and everything right so how those can be sold without any active agent because today chat gpt has given us a power to interact with someone on a very natural language way so i can speak in a different uh, uh, you know i can ask about any query which i may not at times may be not comfortable asking asking a human agent i can ask right. in any kind of language so it is not just limited to any english hindi because i i've seen i tried myself and i saw that chat gpt can understand the context in a way in, in any 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 language you ask it right so if you are in a middle of a conversation and, and you currently switch to a regional language you can switch to an english language it responds pretty well to that so i think that kind of conversation like you and i are talking right now i can switch in between hindi that hey hey surya kya kar rahe ho tell me about this so i mix a hindi i mix a english it understands that how you are trying to connect with it and it responds right. in a way so that kind of contextualization is tremendous one of the other opportunity which i think can enable the sales mm. advisor chain the second is the customer queries right so yeah. a lot of customer queries are there how you can manage it right how you can today we have a lot of customer support bots already every every channel everywhere that bot is there to help you with your customer queries now the biggest problem at times you face as a customer executive right they may at times feel a pressure of handling a lot of queries they may need to see that hey okay someone has asked me certain question where i can find an information about this how i can how, what is the best way to reply to it that can also be queried to a chat gpt platform they can ask okay this is a kind of response i'm getting from a customer what should be the best way to answer it so mm -hmm. that's another way of leveraging your customer support executives as well right so right. that's a way you can do this and now with gpt4 as a model it has now opened up lot of things now it's not just limited to your text it has been extended to entire images and soon going to be voice and everything right so now if i want to create let's say uh, uh, for my marketing content i usually have a process of you know i we have to go to a certain agency we have to explain what what is needed and right now if i think of okay hey i want to create a marketing content and i want to publish it or let's say today uh, is a festival in uh, maharashtra it's a gudi padwa so we say hey create a good marketing content for selling an xyz insurance policy for a gudi padwa occasion it should give me a proper uh, image with the right content and it should tell me okay this is the right way to go ahead with so that's what i think uh, are the three major which rightly comes to my mind and and to just to add to this surya i think today the uh, Adobe launched something called Firefly which is if you if you see the demo it is it's it's going to it, it's mind boggling i would say it, it it's such a great use of generative ai you can just type out and say okay hey create me a, a image of uh, uh, let's say a content or create an image of a castle uh, in a sand it it, it properly do, does it you can change the color you can change the location everything just by typing out a text which we have never thought of we used to think it in our mind now we are just typing it out and we are getting the results so content creation advising uh, and supporting are i think should go hand in hand as a largely used case and an entire uh, not just insurance industry i would say the entire industry is looking uh, to get into this kind of models yeah yeah of course i mean generative ai actually have you know demonstrated ways that we have not just seen but not have even imagined uh, perhaps just a year back so it is certainly going to transform the financial services industry to a greater extent so you know abinit uh, can you throw some light on the impact of 
generative AI and language models on risk assessment and pricing models in insurance. I believe these are the two, you know, one of the yeah. important elements of the value chain. Right, right. So th that's that's very right. And I think uh, for any insurers that can be, you know, one of a key challenge to adhere to. Today, if I talk very specific to, let's say, uh, you know, the pricing models or uh, understanding how the risk can be mitigated. So chat GPT can be a tool, which I think that, for example, it can leverage or it can support your existing set of underwriters. So today, uh, chat GPT may not be someone who can replace an underwriter. It will be too quick or, you know, to say like that. But what I feel that chat GPT as a platform can help you assist these underwriters to get access to different world, which has been missed till date. I can get an information about someone from a social media. I can get information from web. Uh, if I train my bot, if I train my chat GPT model in a way that I should be able to, you know, ask any kind of risk queries of a person, which can assist me to underwrite in a faster way. So today I have set of underwriting rules with us. Uh, every insurer has a rule that, okay, this is a set of the rules you have to follow to underwrite any policy. Now, if I want to assess certain additional risk to that, in that case, chat GPT as a model can be used to assist my underwriters. Right? That is going to leverage and give me an option which will uh, you know, fasten my entire process. And this can be embedded in a real time as well. Going forward, this can be done in a real time as well. So the biggest challenge of you know, today uh, issuing any life insurance is it's not very sim similar to a motor insurance or a health insurance wherein you can get a policy quickly, right? Yeah. Everyone, I think, is trying to issue a policy as fast as fast as they can. Uh, make it as simple as a, as a, a other general insurers. The so life insurers are in a way to you know uh, go to that journey, and I think Chat GPT can help us to mitigate those risks in real time, giving an additional tool to our underwriters. And someone, if I'm, if I'm able to assess a risk of a person immediately or real time, that is going to be tremendously useful. Coming to the pricing models, Surya, I think. You know, it, it works very similar to that. The pricing model also is something uh, when, when I used to think about AI earlier, the one of the biggest use case has always been in my in my mind that, hey, there should be something which is like, you know, very personalized to me, which is uh, very customized to me. So I should be able to, you know, understand, okay, hey, this is the, the you know, uh, policy I'm looking up for. And uh, but these are additional benefits which I don't need. Can I remove this? Can I customize this? Right? Wh why this is needed? So, in a way, when I think of AI, these are the type of things which is still not, I'm not able to see that in the insurance. Right? It's not very personalized to me. It is not at times will not be very you know, customizable for me. So I think Chat GPT can give you real time insights of that. Uh, platform. For example, if someone wants, if someone is chatting uh, or trying to get an access of, okay, hey, this is the, this is my profile, this is my persona. Can you assist me to create, uh, you know, something very personalized? Okay, I, I want to go for a savings plan, but I have this much amount only. And if you know, like in a life insurance industry, the biggest uh, thing is the premium amount. That's that's pretty high for a lot of things, right? And that's right. why people are moving to something called Sasha Insurance as well to provide yeah, yeah. some kind of uh, you know active engagement with their customers. So I think that that's the path everyone is taking. And a GPT as a model can assist our actuary team to think of okay, someone is chatting and someone has raised a request. Can I give them an immediate uh, product which is very very which is uh, you know, in line with what I have created, but it's customized mm -hmm. to this particular person right. that, okay, this is the pricing which I should be able to give. So there is a certain set of calculations which I have to do manually or, you know, think of a lot of other factors. Mm -hmm. This can all be done through a GPT model, wherein it's not just the internal logics or policies what I have. It can also take into account the different, uh, you know, outside information as well. 
and create a holistic pricing model for me so it is not limiting my thought process only to the internal regulations or logics it is also giving me an outside view of uh, you know a, where i can fetch about this details of a person okay this person has this kind of persona i can definitely go for this kind of pricing model so i think this this is something which is futuristic and definitely can be solved by a model like chat gpt so you know out of curiosity do you yeah. think this kind of an open ai model uh is as or rather can be as accurate as a human intervention can bring so it all depends on you know the data right and for ai not just op- i talk talk about chat gpt model or any la- uh, language models for any machine learning model uh, or any artificial intelligent uh, model we have to you know get the data to be very much curated so right. today even if we want to create a chat gpt for us there is always a need you can directly just not go and you know create something for on chat gpt and train your model there has to be a certain optimization is always required so right. if you want to create a specific use case let's say for me it has to be very goes behind the screen that goes behind the screen exactly and uh, that's where you know the optimization is needed you need to create a, a certain set of data for yourself that mm-hmm. uh, this is what i want this model to be trained this is what it, it should respond and that needs an entire training by itself whatever training has been done for chat gpt that is only going to create a comprehensible a natural language way of interacting mm-hmm. but the entire context uh, that it should not go out of my insurance industry or it should not go out of my banking industry or any other industry it has to be trained in a way so there is always a need and and if you see today uh, today the, the risk at times which i feel uh, with all this kind of models and what we see today at chat gpt if you try out or google bard these these are a kind of you know biased models in a way right there is a highly chances that because these are data which has been before 2021 right yeah. so anything after that has not been updated so anyone can even if they are trying to create a specific use case for someone can make it a completely biased model we don't even know that if someone goes out today and creates a gpt like infrastructure trains it with all kind of data which is not true and launches in the market and if someone goes and try out and accepts everything what it says that's going to be a huge problem for the entire race right yeah. so it it can be very much biased because it largely depends on the data how you train it how you do the all the data massaging how you clean those data i think that's where the major role or the, the key factor is yeah yeah very true so you know to you or rather do you foresee any challenges that insurers can face with the use of ai and ml model so i think uh, as as any insurer or any any bfsi company i would say that the biggest challenge i think everyone need to understand that this is not like a magic wand that you take out and it will solve all your problems chat gpt is basically a platform which is going to enhance your way of conversation which earlier has been a challenge for everyone today uh, it has not any kind of bot which we see in the industry in any of the websites is not very conversant like how chat gpt speaks to us yeah, right yeah. it has to be it, it, the context keeping the things in context responding it in a way is something we saw and we loved it because chat gpt why it connected so early with the people because the way they speak the way it was answering you if you are and earlier when it was earlier it was launched it was it was a bit sarcastic as well it i saw a lot of things which which it was behaving in a way as it has set of anger it has set of other issues which gradually has been trained and this has been you know lowered down but i think that's that's where the thing everyone need to understand that it's not a magic wand which is going to work in the first day it is still is an experimentation phase we don't we cannot put everything dependent on chat gpt it has to be optimized for your specific purpose that's everyone has to understand right moreover we also need to you know define the purpose and define the scope that why why we are creating this what's the purpose of creating this model what's the scope who are we catering it to 
Yeah. I think once we once we are able to do that with the right set of curated data, I think everyone will be able to create something or the other using ChatGPT. True. So the future of insurance is clearly set to be transformed by OpenAI, of course, and you know opportunities to improve risk assessment, fraud detection, prevention, and most importantly, the ethical use of AI is going to play a major role in this. So with that. Okay. Thank you, Avinit. A fantastic discussion. Thank you for sharing your thoughts today. A true delight to have you as our guest. Thank you, Surya. It has been a pleasure to track with you. Thank you very much. And lastly, to wrap this up, thank you for listening and see you at our next episode. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye for now.